why pedestrian fatalities are on the rise. Welcome to First Shift, I'm Jennifer Vong. That story in a moment, but first, to look at your headlines. Nissan may be adapting a strategy to get smaller. Two company sources are telling Reuters that the effort is called the Performance Recovery Plan. Under it, the Datsun brand will be dropped. Underused assembly lines will be shut down, mainly in emerging markets. And as Automotive News has reported, variants of the Titan pickup will be trimmed. In addition, there will be fresh efforts to abandon brand eroding sales practices in the U.S., such as aggressive market share targets and steep discounts to fleet customers. Said one of the sources, we need to chart a recovery, but the rot goes deep. Staking with Nissan, the automaker showed its vision for an all-electric crossover at the Tokyo Motor Show today. It's called the Aria Concept. Chief Product Specialist Makoto Fukuda said, This is not just a show car. This is what will be our next step after the LEAF. Over at the Lexus stand, the LF30 concept shows where Toyota's luxury brand wants to go in its design for electric vehicles. Features include gullwing doors, giant wheels pushed to the edges, and a glass roof that provides an augmented reality look at the sky. Mazda, meanwhile, revealed its first mass production EV. It's a compact CUV called the MX30. Among its features, so-called freestyle doors that swing out in opposite directions. EVs in the news in Italy as well. Fiat Chrysler is building a battery assembly complex at one of its manufacturing sites in Turin. The batteries will go into a new generation of full electric vehicles. Initial spending will be $56 million. And coming up later today on Autonews.com, third quarter earnings from Ford and Tesla. We'll also be watching the latest votes on the GM UAW contract. You can follow them local by local on our home page. More pedestrians and cyclists were killed on U.S. roads in 2018 than in any year since 1990, so says the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. The agency releasing its 2018 highway crash fatality data on Tuesday. Overall traffic deaths fell for the second straight year to 36,560. However, the number of pedestrians and cyclists killed on roads continues to rise. For example, fatalities of people on foot have jumped by 42 percent in the last decade, even as the combined number of all other traffic deaths has fallen by 8 percent. So what gives? Auto safety experts say driver distraction caused by mobile devices is partly to blame for the increase in pedestrian deaths. Another factor, consumers shift to light trucks, which generally cause more severe pedestrian impacts than passenger cars. That, according to the Governor's Highway Safety Association. Automakers are working on technologies that alert drivers of potential collisions with pedestrians, but there's still more work to do. As we told you earlier this month on First Shift, AAA found that some automatic emergency braking systems designed to stop vehicles from striking pedestrians did not always work effectively and had a significantly higher failure rate at night. Staying with safety, a new documentary is examining how safe self-driving vehicles are as well as how they work and how they may change the way we live. Traffic. Deadly crashes. Is there a better way? Self-driving cars will eliminate road accidents. The documentary called Look Who's Driving premieres today on PBS at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. 
and we thank you for watching First Shift. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. Take care.